Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan. Here's yet another tutorial on creating a chess engine, which I have uh, called Alpha Beta Chess. Um, ABC would be the acronyms. Um, and that's mainly because I use the Alpha Beta uh, logarithm within this, which I'll talk about later. Some people have been asking, um, we're going to start off with uh, switching things up and working on what we call king safe and that's this bit of code here I'll be explaining how to type this all out right here um, we have created uh, um, here I'll just go to uh, what you've seen so what you've created so far um, possible a possible Q B and so on um, and we still have um, possible pawns left as well as castling and passants and uh, um, and promotions um, but instead of working on the pawns, we're going to switch things up, make it a little fun, and work on the king safe. And the king safe incorporates a little bit of each of the other ones. It will be somewhat similar. What it will do is we'll start off with uh, slash slash uh, bishop. Um, we're going to look and see if one of the other pieces, one of the other, uh, the bishops on the other side, the black bishops, are threatening our king. Um, so uh, before we do that, we are going to create a variable up here, which will be called. Uh, well, let's just create it at the end here. Um, king safe C. I just want to make sure that I'm consistent with my other code here. So second. Um, ah king position C. So we'll type in uh, king position C comma king position L. Um, and oh we got those already never mind I'm just uh, being redundant here. Um, what these C and L do just I'll recap then uh, sorry about that. Uh, um, what these basically do is C stands for capital, L stands for lowercase, even though they're both capital letters. Um, and uh, they keep track of uh, the position of the king. So um, what uh, that basically does is the king safe now knows where the king is. Now the king could just check each time a king safe is called, scan, look for the A on the chessboard. But I find that it increases um, uh, about 200 milliseconds uh, per for a depth of four um, when I initially created it. And so uh, it's definitely worth it. I don't know how much it will increase by the end, but we'll see. Um, so what we'll do is say uh, int temp equals one. Um, and whoops, semicolon there. So I'll have a temp is one. Now let's see how different this is from the bishop. We're going to go to the bishop which is right here, and we're going to have this whole uh, um, this space thing here. We're just going to copy that. We're not going to say uh, if lowercase. We're just going to go there, and we're going to paste this code in. Now it'll be way indented, so shift tab. We'll get it back there. Now, we're going to modify this code up slightly. Um, oh, we should copy as well from the bishop this whole uh, 4J in this and try. Um, maybe I'll undo this indent. There we go. Try that. Indent it even more. And then we'll paste at the bottom. So we're just copying and pasting just uh, to see how similar or different this is, we'll do that. At the end, um, now let's see how our brackets are lining up. Good. And then one more there, one more there, and That looks about right. Alrighty. Uh, oh, 
never mind. These two can be unindented. That looks about right. Okay, so what we're going to change here is we're going to leave the I part the same, and we're going to leave the K part the same, uh, because uh, bishops move about the same as they did before. And then we'll have this while, but we will make it different. We're not based on this R. Um, we're based on uh, king position. So we'll rewrite this as a king position C. We're always talking about C. You would think, well, what if we're talking about it from black side? But don't worry about that yet. Um, we're going to do if C divided by 8, and then, oh, I should undo that. Okay, just write it here. Uh, king position C divided by 8, and then plus temp times, you know, we'll make it I. Um, oh, um, yeah, I prefer to make these uh, all uh, as low as they go, as in I and J, so a little bit of customizing here, uh, whoops, J, so just bear with that. Um, all right, so always the first uh, one is I, J, K, L, M, and so on. And then the other one is, uh, again, king position C, and this time modulus 8, and then plus temp, and now it will be a J. So, uh, while that, and we're just going to put at the end a little thing here, temp plus plus. All right. So basically what we're doing is we're going in um, uh, a diagonal, uh, a diagonal path, kind of like my mouse is going right now. And as long as it's an empty spot, keep going. So uh, as soon as it is not an empty spot, then it comes to this line, line 254 in this case, after the while thing. So now we check, is this a bishop? So we're going to say if... And let's just copy this whole thing. All right. And paste it there. And this time we write a B. But do we write a capital B or a lowercase b? Well, white is capital, remember? So black is lowercase. We're looking for a black. That's lowercase. If that equals, and we leave it the same thing, this. But uh, then we would think, you know, then do this, whatever this is. Uh, whatever. Okay, but this means that uh, we've gone and there's a bishop. So obviously our king is in danger. All right, so uh, danger, I'll put in there. Um, but there's another case where this could be uh, a diagonal, and that is we're just going to combine these for the sake of space. Let's copy this again. Put another bracket there. Okay, if it's a queen... When you go a diagonal, we're checking diagonals, may as well check the queen as well. Uh, it just makes sense to, to get uh, two birds with one stone, as the phrase is. Um, so if that, then uh, return false. Now, um, now I will just delete all of this extra stuff that really didn't matter. Um, just wanted to copy this basic structure here. Um, but show you that somewhat similar in look. Um, now, what this basically does is when you return, it ends this uh, method. So this method, king safe, is running. The moment it finds a return, uh, king safe closes and just returns a false. Um, and basically, what we're going to do is check bishop, and if the king's in danger, return false. We're going to check this, and if king's in danger, return false. And if it never returns false, it'll come to the end and return true, which means none of the falses were triggered. And the reason I do it this way instead of just returning at the end is because this way I can quit king safe prematurely. I can quit it here without having to ever check the rook and the uh, knight and the pawn. Um, and so it actually speeds up my engine uh, slightly. And therefore, the order of these is very important. I picked bishop first as in the likelihood of a king being caught, because you want to end this prematurely as much as possible. And it checks a queen. 
So bishop or queen, pretty likely that one of those two works. Now, let's, do, let's just paste this whole thing again and pick in a rook. Now, when we do a rook, we will actually change this bishop to slash uh, queen, just so that we know. Now this rook also slash queen. Um, now, uh, for the rook, we only need one for loop thingy. And so we will do it as such. Uh, we will get rid of that one and that one. Oops. That. So there. An indent. Okay. Now, um, we're not too worried about temp yet. I'll just uh, get rid of that for now. So we have this for i loop, and then we have a try, and we'll again say if it's a space. So keep going horizontally and vertically now. Um, that's what this i thing will go through. And say uh, if king safe uh, divided by 8, but we don't need to add this whole temp thing. And then on the other one, we'll leave it, it's an I. So this will check, one will check horizontally, and the other one will flip it and have temp uh, p times I go over here. So we'll check uh, one vertically, one horizontally. All right, so while this, keep adding. And then if, now it's rook. And again, we get rid of this part here. And, or if it's a queen and change these to an I. All right, so now, if any of those, return that, catch, and uh, temp is one. Now, let me just run this through this code. We want to make sure, we want to know, do we need uh, temp to be one right here? Well, let's check. When we run through this code, if it returns false, it doesn't matter. But assuming it doesn't, it will go through this loop, then this loop, and the very last one, it'll set temp to 1. It'll go to this loop and end that loop. It'll go to this loop, end that loop, and temp's already 1. So we don't need anything there at all. So, but once this loop is done, it'll set temp to 1. Then we'll do this again for the other direction, followed by setting temp equals 1 for the next thing, which will be the knight. I'm just ordering these roughly in order of probability, although it's not an exact science. All right, so now what we'll do is cut that out of there, paste it there, paste it there and there, and get rid of it in the other spot. So this basically flips, directing horizontally and vertically, so it checks both. Now, which is more probable? Uh, I never even thought about that before, but perhaps these orders should be switched that's uh it's it's really a minor detail but uh something you could consider all right and that's all within this for loop here so we have just created a queen uh the queen the rook and the bishop are dealt with checking if it is safe now let's just see if we at all have got this down pat um i'm gonna put this a here now, I am going to put in a bishop there. Now, the bishop should be threatening the A. Let's see what happens. Um, we got uh, one option, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine options. Now, let's see what those options could be. King could move here, one, two, three. It could move four spots. This could go up five spots. So I'm seeing five, it sees seven. So, um, not sure where its other two are. Um, just looking around here. Yes, one, two, three, four. Five for this pawn going up, five. And it'll see two other options here. But anyways, I'm not seeing them right now. Maybe you will. Maybe I have a glitch. But anyways, that's the it for this tutorial. Until next time, enjoy Java.